Well, my name is Adrienne Stewart and the reason I'm involved in this heart project is that I gave a little bit of money to the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra not with a specific request that it should be directed towards uh, an instrument but now that I am involved I think it's the best project they've ever done. The orchestra is commissioning a new harp because there is a tremendous amount of strain on a harp, on its structure, because of all these strings which are pulling, they're, they're trying to pull the harp in on itself. Harps can last for a long, long time, but as they get older that pressure does wear on them. Commissioning a new harp now, before the old harp gets anywhere near the end of its life, means that we're not left stuck with a harp that isn't quite up to it. Well that particular model is called the Tahuia and yeah, it's, it will be harp number nine to, to build a harp for, for your national orchestra um, and, and they're, they're choosing a, a, um, a New Zealand maker, as I think it's quite special. I mean I, I was introduced to the harp world at about 16, my sister Helen wanted to play the harp. Um, my mother found a teacher, um, but we needed a harp, so I left school and started building harps full time, which is probably a bit unusual, really. So the process of building a, a, a concert harp is, is around about two years. It's probably two and a half thousand hours, and with a harp maker, you have to be a design engineer, you have to be a tool maker, you have to be a engineer, you have to be a woodworker, well, the list goes on. I know it's a real commitment of love and passion on his part. He creates absolutely every single part of this instrument himself, apart from the strings. It's really a national treasure. Um, you know, we have this amazing craftsman, artist in this country, who has taught himself how to build these instruments and he's a genius at doing this and he's creating them using almost 100% New Zealand materials and in a way that reflects New Zealand culture and, and environment so beautifully. I just feel really passionate about this connection. The NZSO should have harps built by Kim Webby who is New Zealand's harp building national treasure. The National Orchestra, the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra, belongs to everybody in New Zealand. And I think that's the message that we all need to think about. People are interested in stories, and the story that we've heard today is worthy of support. <laughs>